What would you like to be in the future? What would you really, really, really like to be in the future? This is a question often posed to many of us. And to be more precise, to people of my generation. The common response to this question would be lawyer, doctor, pilot, engineer, and many more. <laughs> if anyone dare mention a farmer, a farmer, they would have signed their names up on top of the clown list. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ethan Kipchumba, and welcome to my TEDx talk, how 5G enhances farming. The communal understanding of farming is that one has to get down and dirty. I know I wouldn't even think of the career if that is what it meant. What if I told you that that is only half of what farming meant? That there's a wider scope to it that we do not understand. Farming is a very fun and productive career. And if you are a tech-savvy person, sit back and relax. For what you're about to hear will be mind-blowing. Next generation 5G networks can be up to 100 times faster than 4G, making communications between devices and servers much quicker. 5G also carries much more data than other networks. This is ideal for transmitting information from remote drones and sensors. Now, we, the common Wananchi, or what we are newly referred to as the Wanjikus, can monitor our crops and livestock from our residential places in the city through the use of a cellular device. 5G is also being used to automate farming processes. To attest to this is the use, is the use of drones in Netherlands and Japan. This has helped improve potato production. Yay! More fries for everyone! <laughs> farming requires high maintenance, and in order to do this, one will need enough labor. Don't you worry. 5G has a solution for this. For the drones and sensors can do what initially man could have done. Another solid example is the use of a smartphone app in the UK, which lets farmers track a connected cow and receive daily updates on its health and behavior. Can't you see this? How astonishing. This is like Twitter, but for cows. Bear with me as I explain this to you. I may be safe to say that each and every one of us here uses at least one social media platform. Take the cow as somebody that you want to converse with. When the cow is online, you're able to see whether it's sick, hungry, or restless, or maybe it's acting funny. Take this to be the status of the cow. As soon as this is done, you are able to come up with a verdict and figure out what to do next. <laughs> Must be nice. So even the cows have Twitter, and I don't. How oh, great. With all due respect, there is only a handful of farmers in Kenya who have automated their day-to-day -day processes. And to be more precise, there is no farmer in Kenya who has taken up 5G. We have the land, we have the labor, and of course we have the capital. So why not take this golden opportunity head on? After all, Africa has a higher chance of succeeding in this than any other continent. Recently, I took a trip to some farms in Kiambu. In one of these farms, a farmer had a 60 by 60 meter piece of land. In that land, he kept 70 cows. He fed them well enough for them to produce 40 liters each. Now, take the price of one, car, of one liter of milk to be 30 shillings. At the end of the day, the farmer would have returns worth 84,000 Kenyan shillings. At the end of a week, my oh my.
The farmer would have returns worth 588,000 Kenyan shillings a week. Mind you, this farmer has employed five workers to give him a helping hand around the farm. We all know basic business. If the farmer was to include costs incurred into his total earnings, he would remain with roughly 300,000 Kenyan shillings. Again, a week. Take the same farmer and put him in, this, in a different scenario where he has a bigger piece of land, roughly three acres, more cows, about 200, and three workers, mainly because he has taken up 5G. The farmer in the second scenario will benefit in multiple ways in comparison to the farmer in the first scenario. His cost of labor will reduce, mainly because he does not have to pay many people working for him. This is due to the fact that he has taken up 5G. If the farmer needs to collect data on how his farm is faring, all he needs to do is consult his technology's database. The farmer does not have to spend most of his time on the farm. Instead, he can monitor his crops and livestock and possibly alter some things electronically while he's in the city looking for more markets. Last but not least, if you love money like I do, <laughs> you'll have a nice time doing this job, trust me. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization predicts that in order to provide for the world's rapidly growing population, we will need to produce 70% more food in 2050 than we did in 2009. So, what better way to achieve this than through the use of 5G? Thank you. <laughs>